see, a monologue to learn. Now, which one to learn? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Titus Andronicus. Doesn't sound half bad, actually. And it is William Shakespeare. <coughs> you sad faced men, people and sons of Rome, by uproar severed as a flight of fowl scattered by winds and high tempestuous gusts. Oh, let me teach you how to knit again. This scattered corn into one mutual sheaf, these broken limbs again into one body, lest Rome herself be bane unto herself. Bird has a flight of fowls scattered by winds and high tempestuous gusts. You sad faced. Okay, okay, okay. By uproars served as the flight of fowl scattered by winds and high tempestuous gusts. Oh, let me teach you how to knit again. This scattered corn in. Ugh. William Shakespeare is so old. I mean, I don't want to study Shakespeare after all these years. I mean, come on. It's not current. In. It has to go in to your head. Just get it into your bloody head. Oh my god, if I go to drama school with this, oh my god, I mean, I mean, this is like the most brilliant. Oh my god, I can't, I can't lose this. This is like big grade stuff. Oh my god, I'm betraying the ancient, wonderful, blessed story writer, the wonderful William Shakespeare. Okay, okay everyone, we're having a little bit of a problem here, but let's just take your time, take it easy, take it from the top. You sad-faced men, people and sons of Rome, by uproar served as a flight of fowl, scattered by winds and high tempestuous gusts. Oh, let me teach you how to knit again. This scattered corn into one mutual sheaf. These broken limbs again into one body. Let's choose number one. <laughs>